I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs in the Garden of Banban 6. The first character I'll make is Sir Dadadu. And I'm gonna use a Ravager because they're both big and scary. First, let's remove all the stuff we don't need. And we'll start to make the shape of his body. Now let's start giving him an arm on the side. Next, I'm gonna start to give him a head. And I think this is good. So now let's start to add some color. First, I'm gonna color his body fully light gray. Now let's color his hands the same color as his head. And now we'll just give him some teeth on the bottom like this. Now finally, let's start to give him a tie. And I think this is looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Sir Dadadu looks in game. He definitely looks pretty scary. He also kind of looks like he's from Monsters, Inc. Does anyone else see that? It's probably just the tie that he's wearing. It makes him look like he's ready for work. Since Sir Dadadu kind of looks like a slug, I decided to make it so that he walks very slowly. But don't let this trick you though, because just like in the actual game, Sir Dadadu is able to move very quickly if he's attacking you. And if you get hit by Sir Dadadu, he will give you all these potion effects, because in the game, he possesses some of the other monsters, so this is kind of the same thing. Subscribe or Sir Dadadu will possess you. If you manage to kill Sir Dadadu, he drops a Dadadu tooth, which does the same thing as his attack does, it possesses things. And overall, I think Sir Dadadu turned out really good. He looks a lot like the actual monster. So because of this, I decided to give Sir Dadadu a 10 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the nanny. And I'll use a pig, because the nanny is either a pig or a cow, but I don't know which. So first, let's get rid of these back legs. Now let's start to shape the body like this. Now let's make these legs a lot bigger. Now let's change the shape of her head a little bit. And we'll just give her some floppy ears like this. And I think this is looking good, so now let's color her in. First, I'm gonna color her body a grayish blue color. Now let's color her legs a little bit darker. Now let's color her nose blue. And we'll give her some bright yellow eyes like this. Now let's give her a blue mouth as well. And I think this is looking good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how the nanny looks in game. I still can't tell if she's supposed to be a pig or a cow. Come on, guys. Which one is it? You have to tell me. Okay, I don't think they know either. In the game, the nanny is seen lurking in one of the first rooms before jump scaring the player. So I decided to make it so that the nanny is mainly found in dark areas as well. The nanny also moves quite slowly, similar to Sir Dadadu, because this is how she's seen moving at first. But don't let this trick you again, because the nanny attacks you super quickly if you get too close, similar to her jump scare. I decided to make it so that if you kill the nanny, she drops a pork chop, and the reason I did that is because she looks like a pig. I'm sorry if she's a cow, I seriously can't tell. And overall, I think the nanny looks pretty good in game, but her body design just looks a little bit boring. So because of this, I'm going to give the nanny an 8 out of 10. The next character character I'll make is Syringion, and I'm gonna use a sniffer to make him, because they both start with S. First, I'm gonna remove all the stuff we don't need, and I'm gonna turn his legs into feet like this, and we'll add a leg on top of the feet as well. Now let's start to add his neck like this, and we'll add his head on the top of his neck as well. Now let's start to give him some arms, and now we're gonna start coloring him in. First, I'm gonna color his entire body a bright pink color, and now let's give him a mouth like this, and we'll also start to give him some eyes on the top. Next, I'm gonna add his surgeon tools that he has on each of his hands, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Syringion looks in game. This guy doesn't look that bad. I don't really know why he's turning like this though. This is definitely a problem. But other than that, Syringion looks good. I especially like his face. It looks kind of funny. In the game, Syringion is referred to as the surgeon, so I decided to make it so that he does surgery on you when he hits you. Okay, it's not actually surgery. He just freezes you and starts taking your hearts. I don't know how to make this guy an actual surgeon. Something I also just noticed is that Syringion's arms aren't actually supposed to be in the air like this. His picture on the wall deceived me. If you kill Syringion, he drops a beetroot, and the only reason I made him drop this random item is because it looks like a heart, and he's the surgeon. Overall, I don't think Syringion turned out that bad, but there are a few things that are kind of weird. So because of this, I decided to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the naughty ones. And I'll use an endermite to make them, because they are both kind of the same. So let's remove a few pieces like this. Next, I'm gonna change the shape of his body a little bit, and we'll give him a head on the top of his body. Now let's rotate the bottom of his body like this, and we'll start to give him a tail on the back right here. Next, I'm gonna add some ears on the top of his head. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now it's time to give him some color. First, let's color his body this bluish color, and we'll color the inside of his ears purple. Now let's color his teeth bright white, and I'll actually change the color of his body because it's not supposed to be dark like this. Alright, I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how the naughty ones look in game. Honestly, they pretty much look exactly the same as they do in game. The only thing that's really different is that we are seeing them in the light, which I'm not sure if that is even possible. The naughty ones are incredible fast as you can see, and this makes them actually pretty scary. Well, I don't know about scary, but they're sort of like a buff silverfish. The naughty ones also won't attack you when there's light around, but if you run into one of these guys in a cave, then you might be in trouble. I also gave the naughty ones a jumping attack animation, which is supposed to be like their jump scare, and if you manage to kill these guys, they drop an amethyst shard, and I don't really know why. I just picked it because it's purple. Overall, I think the naughty ones turned out exactly how they should have, so because of this, I'm going to give them a 10 out of 10 as well. The next character I'll make is Kid 
Kittysaurus. And I'm gonna use a cat to make her, cause she is partially a cat. First, let's get rid of these legs. And we'll move these body parts and change the shape of her body. Next, we'll start to give her some feet down here. And we'll add some legs on top as well. Next, I'm gonna change the shape of her head as well. Next, I'm gonna give her some T-Rex arms like this. And I think this is looking pretty good. Now, let's add some color. First, I'm gonna color her body an orangish color. Now, let's color her feet white. And let's give her some teeth as well. And I think this is looking good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Kitty Saurus looks in game. As you can see, she is massive. She also kind of looks more like a dog than a cat, but I guess that's fine. She still looks scary either way. Similar to the naughty ones, Kitty Saurus is also incredibly fast, which makes it basically impossible to escape her. Fortunately, this is Garten of Ban Ban 6 though, so we don't have to worry about her attacking us. Since Kitty Saurus is part cat, I decided to make it so that you can tame her. And I decided to make it so that you tame her with rotten flesh because it just seems like an item that would be used to tame her. If you tame Kitty Saurus, you are also able to ride her, although I'm not really sure if this is the right place to be riding on top of her. But it's still better than some of the mobs I've made, I guess. Overall, I think Kitty Saurus looks pretty good, but she also looks a little bit like a dog. So because of this, I decided to give her a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Bitter Giggle, and I'll use a pillager to make him. First, let's remove some of the stuff we don't need, and we'll change the shape of his legs, and we'll also change his arms. Now let's start to shape his head a little bit like this, and we'll just color his body fully green for now. Next, I'm gonna split his body into two colors by making this side purple. Now let's add these spots on the purple side of his body like this. Next, I'm gonna give him a mouth like this. Now finally, let's give him some eyes. And I think this is good. Let's add Bitter Giggle to the game. This is how Bitter Giggle looks in game. I will say this is not one of my best mobs, but he is a pretty difficult character to make as he has a lot of random parts extruding out of him for no reason. In the game, Bitter Giggle tries to fight Sir Dadadu, so I made it so that they fight in Minecraft as well. Although it's pretty much the same outcome, there's no way Bitter Giggle will beat Sir Dadadu. If you right click on Bitter Giggle, I gave him a laughing animation because he likes to tell jokes, and right clicking him also gives him a random chance to tell a joke as well. I sure hope nothing bad happens because of that. If you kill Bitter Giggle, he drops a clownfish because he's funny and clowns are supposed to be funny, and overall I think Bitter Giggle isn't the best looking mob, but I do like some of his features. So because of this, I'm going to give Bitter Giggle a 7 out of 10. Next I made Tarta Bird, and I made him from a horse. You'll see why. I got rid of all this stuff, colored him blue, and then I added his wings. I added Tarta Bird to the game and he actually looked pretty good, but I think there is something wrong with him. Yeah, for some reason he's kind of dirty and water isn't fixing it. I figured out how to fix this and he was actually looking really good, except for this one spot on his beak, but we'll ignore it. I decided to spawn a baby Tarta Bird and this is what he looked like. I like how he just follows the big one around, just like in the game. You're even able to put him on the big one's back as well. Oh wait, I guess he hasn't tamed him yet. In the actual game, you have to ride Tarta Bird, so I decided to try that for myself. Why does he keep doing that when he kicks me off? It looks really weird. I'm honestly surprised with how perfect this looks. I mean, the legs look a little bit weird, but this looks really good. I'm even able to make Tarta Bird jump. This is insane. I decided to give Tarta Bird a 10 out of 10. Honestly, there was nothing bad about him at all. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Nabnalina. I decided to make Nabnalina from an iron golem. I colored her fully black, gave her a mouth, and finally I added her arms. Nabnalina looks really good in game as well. The arms look kind of weird, but I think she's just asserting dominance. It's fine. Also, the legs are missing texture, but you didn't see that. This never happened. In the game, you have to inject Nabnalina with some kind of chemicals to make her come to life, so I decided to try that in game. Yeah, she doesn't seem to be drinking it. I guess she isn't thirsty. Nabnalina honestly looks pretty strong, so let's see if she can take out some pillagers. Okay, the pillagers don't really have a chance. They're getting destroyed. Yeah, Nabnalina didn't take any damage, but we'll give her an iron ingot anyway. She deserves it. There isn't much to do with Nabnalina, so I decided to make her ride Tarta Bird. Okay, I might have done that backwards, but honestly, this is better. Tarta Bird's legs probably needed a break anyway, although I'm not sure if Nabnalina is able to see anymore. I decided to give Nabnalina a 9 out of 10. It would have been a 10, but I can't look past the bra pose. It's too cursed. Next, I made Hijacked Ban Ban. I made him from a zombie. I changed the shape of his body, colored him red, and then I gave him some eyes. After that, I added his mouth, gave him some horns, and added his feet. I added Hijacked Ban Ban to the game, and he was honestly looking pretty scary. He also looks like Venom, or maybe that's just me. I always say things like this, and then they look nothing like it. Let's spawn a baby Ban Ban. This guy is kind of fast. This would actually be scary if it was the real zombie. I decided to spawn a real Ban Ban, and then I tested which one of them is the best Ban Ban. Ban Ban has a sword, so he probably wins this. Yeah, hijacked Ban Ban didn't stand a chance. Ban Ban destroyed him. I spawned an army of hijacked Ban Bans, and then I decided to get chased by them. Okay, he's not really that scary when he chases you at 0.1 miles per hour. The babies look kind of crazy, though. I decided to give hijacked 
liked Ban Ban in 9 out of 10. He looks really good. I'm just disappointed that he lost to real Ban Ban. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Tomataki and Chamataki. I hope that's how you say it. For these guys, I used a wolf. First, I made their shell, and then I added the chameleon. I forgot which one he is. And after that, I added the other guy. I added them to the game, and they honestly didn't look the best, yet somehow this one took me the longest to make. They're also not really the right size. I'm pretty sure these guys are huge in the game. But I mean, it doesn't look that bad, right? I decided to spawn a baby one of them, and it just made it even worse. Now they are microscopic. In the game, Chamataki attacks you with his tongue, and I'm not really sure how to make that in Minecraft. So instead, I decided to feed him some steak, because I'm guessing he uses his tongue while eating. Tomataki shoots cyan balls from his mouth, so I just... Yeah. They can't be making that sound. I feel bad. I decided to tame one of these guys, and then I made them fight a hijacked Ban Ban. Okay, Ban Ban lost again. He can't keep taking L's like this. I decided to give Tomataki and Chamataki a 5 out of 10. They just look kind of bad. That's all. It's time for the next mob. Next, I decided to make Mr. Kebab Man. And I made him from an Enderman, because they're kind of built the same. I deleted everything, colored him gray, and then I gave him some arms. After that, I added his eyes, put the bandage thing on the back, and gave him his party hats. I added Mr. Kebab Man to the game, and he honestly wasn't looking that bad. I mean, I don't know if he was looking good, but he's definitely not bad. I like how when he walks, he actually looks good because I removed the legs. In the game, Mr. Kebab Man is supposed to mimic Ban Ban, so I decided to see if he can take out Hijacked Ban Ban as well. Come on, Hijacked Ban Ban, you got this one. No more L's. Okay, I'm done with Hijacked Ban Ban. He's never winning a fight. I decided to visit the end to find more Mr. Kebab Mans, and then I did what I always do. It's kind of scary how they just, like, hover to me. I think I made a little too many of them angry. I decided to give Mr. Kebab Man a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, but he also doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Stinger Flynn. I decided to make him from an Elder Guardian. I removed all this stuff, colored him orange, and then I added the spot around his eye. Next, I added his eye, gave him some legs, and then extended the legs out a bit. Stinger Flynn actually looks pretty good this time around. He's a lot better than the old one I had. He is also a lot bigger because apparently Stinger Flynn isn't tiny. Since Stinger Flynn is jumping around like this, I decided to spawn him in the water. Bro was just going crazy on the squids. What did the squids do to him? He honestly looks pretty good in the water. There is one thing wrong though. His legs are definitely supposed to move, but I don't really know how to do that, so it's fine. Stinger Flynn was driving when they were all going to the beach, so I decided to see if he can drive a car. Okay, I don't really think he's able to drive the car. He's not moving. He's also way bigger than the car. You can't even really see it. He doesn't really want to get in a boat either. I guess this guy doesn't like vehicles. In the game, you also get to play as Stinger Flynn, so I decided to give that one a try. He's kind of just vibing. Not much is really getting done. This is boring. I decided to give Stinger Flynn a 9 out of 10. If his legs moved, it would be a 10, but unfortunately, that's never gonna happen. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Queen Bouncelia. I used a hoglin to make her. I colored her body purple, gave her a face, and then added her wand. I added her to the game, and her head was looking kind of broken, so I decided to fix that. Okay, that's still a little messed up, but it's good enough. Also, her feet are both on the same leg, but I'm not fixing that. Only one fix per mob. Since Queen Bouncelia was made from a hoglin, I decided to go find her in the nether. I'm not usually a fan of these guys because they like to hit you from far away, but I guess for Queen Bouncelia, I'll make an exception. I decided to spawn an army of Queen Bouncelias, and then I made them all chase me. Hopefully, this doesn't happen in the actual game, because these guys are kind of scary. Also, their legs look kind of funny. I'm going to give Queen Bouncelia an 8 out of 10. Other than the broken stuff, she looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made an Opilla chick. I used a parrot to make the Opilla chick, and I decided to make the shiny one, or whatever you would call it. You probably wouldn't call it shiny. It's not a Pokemon. The Opilla chicks are so tiny in game, and they actually kind of sound like the chicks from the actual game. I'm pretty sure dodo birds can't fly, so that's kind of a problem, but other than that, they look great. In the game, you have to abduct all the Opilla chicks and move them to their bed, so I decided to try that in Minecraft as well. What? Who is this? Where did the Opilla chick go? That was interesting, but I mean it worked. I can also spawn a baby Opilla bird, and it kind of looks like the default Opilla chick texture. Although this one isn't as cool, all I can really do is feed it a bunch of seeds. Oh, that's not an Opilla chick anymore. In Garden of Ban Ban 2, there are six Opilla chicks, and in the first game, you feed Opilla birds six eggs, so there's definitely some interesting birth methods going on there, so let's test to see if this is true. Wait, it actually worked. I decided to give the Opilla chick a 10 out of 10. Overall, it looks really good, and you are even able to keep one of these as a pet. Wait, my bad, Opilla bird, I didn't know. Next, I'm going to make Slow Selene. Since Slow is literally in her name, I made her from a turtle. I gave her a big green shell, added her long neck, and then I gave her some bright white 
teeth. After that, I added her two large eyes, and I drew a swirl on each side of her shell. I think she turned out pretty good. The eyes and the mouth are really creepy, just like in the actual game. Let's see a baby Slow Celine. I like how it's just a really small version of the regular one. In the actual game, Slow Celine chases you down a hallway, so I decided to add that as well. Okay, this is actually kind of scary. She's just slowly approaching. She is also not looking away, so I guess I have to keep standing still. Because I made Slow Celine from a turtle, I can also put her in the water and she will be fine. Okay, she's not really that slow anymore. Imagine going to the beach and there was just a massive snail swimming around in the water. Probably happens in Florida. I decided to give Slow Celine a 9 out of 10. She looks really good in game, but she's kind of boring in general. It's time for the next mob. In the game, there are 7 different Fiddles crew members, so I made all of those next. I used a strider to make them all, and first I made brown Fiddles. This is the actual color used in the game. I don't really know how this is brown. Next, I made Cyan Fiddles, and there is a giant version of him in the game, but I don't know how to make that, so instead I just made a giant stack of Cyan Fiddles. I'm sure the ones on the top are fine. Next, I made Emerald Fiddles, and this is him in game, and then I made Orange Fiddles. Orange Fiddles only has one tooth. I wonder what happened to the other one. Pink Fiddles has two teeth, and apparently he is dead in the game, so I'm just gonna have to. Next, I made Red Fiddles, and he is my favorite because his eyes just stay like this forever. Like, how is he able to see anything? Here's me riding a Red Fiddles as well. He honestly looks better than the actual Strider. The last Fiddles is Yellow Fiddles, who apparently has a pirate-like appearance because of his missing eye. So, because of this, I am kidnapping him in a boat. I'm going to give the Fiddles a 63 out of 10. There's seven of them, so they get 7x the score. Next, I made Sheriff Toast. I mean Toadster. I made him a frog because that's probably what he is. I changed the shape of his body, colored him the same color as the McDonald's villain, and made his weird shaped head. Next, I added his teeth, and I gave him his badge on his chest. Finally, I colored in his belly, and gave him this little hat on top of his eye. I'm not gonna lie, he doesn't really look like he's smiling. Instead, he looks like the bully from Arthur. His arms are also completely broken. I'm pretty sure I attached them to his legs. Sheriff Toadster probably fights crime, so I'm going to steal no pillow chick in front of him and see what he does. He doesn't appear to be doing too much. He is jumping really high though. He definitely made it through police training. Maybe an army of toadsters will stop me. I already knew they wouldn't. I don't know why I did this. Oh, I guess Sheriff Toadster is hungry. I'm going to give Sheriff Toadster a 7 out of 10. He looks kind of weird, honestly. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Nab Nab. I made Nab Nab from a spider because he kind of looks like a spider. I gave him some long legs and arms, changed the shape of his body, and then I colored him fully blue. After that, I gave him some teeth, then I added his tongue, and finally I gave him three eyes. Okay, I don't think his legs are supposed to look like that. I fixed his legs and then he looked a lot better in game. Well, I don't know about better, but putting him sideways actually makes him look scary. In the game, you get chased by Nab Nab, so I decided to try that in Minecraft. Yeah, this is definitely not something you want chasing you. It just looks so weird because in the actual game, he's on the roof and not on the ground. Nab Nab is also supposed to have a birthday hat and I didn't even notice, so we'll just pretend I added a hat. Also, if you can't tell, Nab Nab is banned banned and spelt backwards, so because of that, you should eat Dirkbus. But I decided to get Sheriff Toadster to lock him up for good. He sure won't be escaping this jail, especially not through the vents. I decided to give Nab Nab a 6 out of 10. He looks kinda cursed. I'm sorry, Nab Nab. I meant 10, I swear. Next, I decided to make Zolfius. I don't know what Zolfius is, but he's big, so I made him from a ghast. Zolfius is just a circle with a face that looks like it was drawn by a one-year-old, so I decided to do that. The only difference is, I'm not one years old, I think. I I added Zolfius to the game, and it kind of reminds me of when I made Ambush. They look very similar. I would have to say that Zolfius is scarier, though. It's something about the amazing art skill required to make his face. I decided to visit the Nether to find a wild Zolfius. He kind of looks like a ping pong paddle, so let's see who will win a game of ping pong, me or Zolfius. I don't think he wanted to play. I wonder what it will look like if I fill the whole sky with Zolfiuses. Yeah, this is a pretty good Minecraft experience. I literally cannot hear anything. I'm going to give Zolfius an 8 out of 10. 10. He's a big flying drawing. How bad could he be? It's time for the next mob. Next, I'm making Mini Josh. It is unknown if Mini Josh will be hostile, but I'm assuming he is, so I made him from a silverfish because they are small and hostile. I deleted all of these things, added his legs, made his body bigger, and then I gave him some arms. After that, I added his head, colored him fully green, and then I added his eyes. Mini Josh looks like he's sad, so I gave him a sad mouth, and then I added him to the game. I was surprised with how he looks in game. All this waddling looks pretty weird. Also, none of his body parts move, which makes him look pretty bad. I decided to spawn Mini Josh with Jumbo Josh, and what happened next was shocking. I'm just kidding, you probably expected this. Next, I spawned an army of Mini Joshes, and then I made them fight Jumbo Josh. This is like a Mr. B 
Beast video, 100 kids versus 1 adult. Mini Joshes could actually win this one, there's a lot of them. Never mind, Jumbo Josh seems to be invincible. I decided to give Mini Josh a 5 out of 10, he's kinda missing a lot of things, like moving arms and legs. It's time for the next mob. You're probably wondering where Jumbo Josh came from. I used the warden to make Jumbo Josh, and I gave him a big head, a creepy mouth, and then I added some green texture all around him. Jumbo Josh is massive in-game, and he actually looks really good as the warden. Jumbo Josh also tells kids to eat fruits and vegetables to become strong like him, but honestly, I wouldn't let him near your kids. I went to the deep dark to see Jumbo Josh emerge from the ground, and then I fed him some fruit and vegetables like he says. Unfortunately, Jumbo Josh didn't want to eat the food, and instead, he wanted to eat me. I would say that I killed him to try and make myself look cool, but let's be honest, we all know what happened. I'm going to give Jumbo Josh a 10 out of 10, and that has nothing to do with him holding me hostage. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Ban Ban. I made Ban Ban from a wither skeleton. I colored him fully red, gave him some eyes and a mouth, and then I added his big tongue. I then gave him his birthday hats on his head, and finally I changed his arms a little bit. Apparently, changing his arms a little bit didn't matter though, because they fully disappeared in the game. Oh wait, they're inside of him. I decided to fix his arms, and this is how Ban Ban looks in game. I decided to visit the nether to try and find Ban Ban myself. Ignore the netherrack, I don't know how this got here. When you think of it, Ban Ban is a devil, so he's supposed to be in the nether. Wait guys, I was just kidding, I didn't say that. To make things a little more cursed, I decided to replace all the heads on the wither with the Ban Ban heads. Now let's see who will win, the Ban Ban, Wither, or Jumbo Josh. Why is Jumbo Josh not fighting back? Okay, now he's going crazy. Alright, Jumbo Josh couldn't do anything, Ban Ban was flying. I decided to give Ban Ban a 6 out of 10, he doesn't look that great. <laughs> it's time for the next mob. Next, let's make Ban Bolina. I used a wither skeleton for Ban Ban, so I made Ban Bolina from a skeleton. I copy pasted all of Ban Ban's body parts onto her, and then I colored her fully white. Next, I gave her some eyes and drew her mouth, and then finally I added her pink bow on her horn thing. I forgot Ban Bolina also had a problem with her arms, so I had to fix it again. This is how Ban Bolina looks in game. She kind of looks like a weird bunny. I then spawned a Ban Bolina army and made them fight Jumbo Josh. Okay, they're all just fighting each other. Yeah, Jumbo Josh wins this easily. Ban Bolina is cool, but look at me spawn a bunch of crows. I then made Ban Ban fight Ban Bolina to see who would win. I'm sorry Ban Bolina, I kind of already knew what would happen. I decided to give Ban Bolina a 5 out of 10, it's not because I don't like her, it's just because I don't <laughs> like her. Next I made Opilla Bird. I used a chicken to make Opilla Bird and I gave her a long neck, some purple wings, and a yellow beak. I then added these creepy looking eyes to her and added her to the game. Opilla Bird actually looks pretty good as well, but the baby not so much. At least I don't have to worry about her chasing me though because she's a chicken. Well, she'll chase me, but she's not gonna do anything, I think. In the game, Opilla Bird is supposed to fall into the ball pit, so I decided to test if she would survive a massive fall in Minecraft. She made it to the ground without taking damage, and there is a minigame where you have to feed Opilla Bird six eggs, so I added that to the game as well. Kind of. I tried to swap Jumbo Josh and Opilla Bird's textures around to make a joke, but this just happened. Opilla Bird says laughter is the best medicine, so I'm asking you to laugh at that joke. Do it for her, not for me. I decided to give Opilla Bird an 8 out of 10 because she can't harm me for my opinion. Okay, really? Next, I made Captain Fiddles. I made Captain Fiddles from a strider. First, I shrunk his legs and made his body smaller. Next, I colored him fully blue and I gave him a mouth and some eyes. Then, finally, I added some arms and some hands. Captain Fiddles actually looks pretty good in game, other than the fact that his legs aren't attached. Also, he's a really good method of transportation. Okay, well, he's not that good. He's kind of slow, honestly. You can even spawn a baby Captain Fiddles for whatever reason. His legs are even more broken, but it's fine. It is said that Captain Fiddles is known for his love of music, so I decided to play a song for him. This was really bad, it's supposed to be the Rickroll song, sorry. <laughs> to test if Captain Fiddles is a real captain, I decided to give him control of a boat. I'm going to give Captain Fiddles a 9 out of 10 because there isn't that much wrong with him. 